Hello students. We know that Earth is the only planet with living beings present on it. Now these organisms live, die and become a part of the nature. Now how do we differentiate between a living being and a non-living being? For example, if I take this pen and put it down, will it roll by itself? Definitely not. But on a contrary, if I take a dog, it will start moving around by itself. Now to move this pen, we require an external source of energy, which means it has no self-penetrating energy. But whereas a dog or a living organism will have its own energy by which it can move around. So here we can take movement as a basic parameter to understand that an organism is living and something else which is not living. Now we are saying that there are many living beings. Now how do we know that all of these living beings are actually living? Now that is because there are many processes which are functioning simultaneously in an organism to maintain its life. So today we will talk about the chapter life processes. So there are many processes performing together which are functioning to maintain a life. Now these processes are called life processes. There are many processes which are functioning inside an organism's body. But the most vital ones include nutrition, respiration, circulation and excretion. Now these processes are considered the most important and basic functions of a body to maintain life. For an example, if I take a single celled organism, it will have only a single cell which is performing all the functions. Whereas, if I take a multicellular organism, there are many designated organ systems present in the body which are performing all these functions. Let me ask you a question. How does a car move? Now, we are giving an external source of energy in the form of fuel to a car so that it can move. Now, similarly, we require something to be given externally into our body so that the processes are happening smoothly in the body. So we are consuming food which is the source of energy. There is a different variety of food which is available including macronutrients and micronutrients. Now immediately if we consume food, are we getting energy? No. So there is a process involved in conversion of your food to give energy. Let us talk about this. Now when we consume our complex food which is mostly of carbon, this has to be broken down into simpler form. Now the process of breakdown of complex food substances into simpler ones is what we call as digestion. Now for this breakdown, we require oxygen. So the consumption of oxygen and utilization of this oxygen to break down the complex food substances is what we call as respiration. Now with this, there is release of ATP which is the source of energy. The food which we have consumed has been broken down into simpler forms and there is formation of energy that is ATP. Now there is a need to transport this energy to every cell in the body. Now for this, we have a circulating medium that is blood which is helping us transport energy to each and every cell in the body. Now we have consumed food, we have utilized the energy but we need to understand that there is some amount of waste or undigested food which is remained in the digestive tract. So the process of elimination of undigested food from the digestive tract is what we call egestion. And then we have some amount of nitrogenous waste and metabolic waste which is formed in the body which also has to be eliminated. And this elimination process is called as excretion. Let us take a quick recap. Earth is the only planet with life in it. The processes performed together for maintenance of life are called life processes. The basic life processes include digestion, respiration, circulation and excretion which are necessary for survival. The breakdown of complex food molecules to simpler forms is called digestion. The breakdown of glucose in presence of oxygen to release energy in the form of ATP is called respiration. The transportation of nutrients to all body parts is called circulation. The removal of undigested food is called egestion. The elimination of metabolic and nitrogenous waste is called excretion.